Hi, I'm Greg Birdie, Vice President here at PMI Birdie Properties, and I wanted to talk to you today about a weird thought I've been hearing people talk about when it comes to their fences and the ownership of uh, the fence around their property, uh, especially when it came around to our rental properties and the replacement or upkeep of that fence. Um, they pretty much had this weird notion that there's a good side of the fence and a bad side of the fence. Um, and that might be true cosmetically. Some most majority of people might prefer one side over the other, um, but they they both have a purpose. And really, it's technically the inside of a fence and the outside of a fence. Uh, but they were taking it down to the level of if the good side of the fence, the section where you don't see the railing, faces into your yard, then you own that section 100%. But that's not the case. Um, there's lots of different designs of fencing around a property, especially with wood privacy fence, and there's even designs to where that wouldn't be an issue because um, one, there's sections, there's designs where there is no railing, so both sides look identical. Um, so there's lots of different ways to where that wouldn't necessarily make sense. Uh, just because that design is used doesn't mean that one side owns it and the other side owns the other half. It, pretty much the, the question that you need to ask uh, when you're trying to find out who owns that section of a fence is where does it lie within the property lines? If the fence is located directly on the perimeter of a property, right on the line separating between your property and your neighbor's property, that's a shared fence. You own 50%, they own 50%, that's a shared property uh, piece of fencing. And when it comes to replacement or maintenance to it, uh, it is a shared cost. Um, I mean, there's the reality of life that maybe that neighbor uh, isn't willing to put in funds to help maintain or replace that section. Um, so that's, that's where reality comes in at that point, but overall, if you're left, if it's bothersome to you and you needed to get it fixed and it doesn't bother them for whatever reason or they just can't afford to replace that section, whenever you have to, to whenever you have to replace it and if you're going to be paying for all of it, really just going to, you at that point get to choose um, the design materials um, as long as it doesn't affect your HOA or anything like that, any kind of governing body saying that you can't use certain materials like that. But overall, you get to choose the design, the height, materials, all that kind of stuff, especially if you're going to pay for it. Um, even if you do share it, you do own the inside like cosmetic look of it. So of course, you can stain it and paint it, whatever colors um, work for your area. Um, but the whole notion of a good side, bad side develops ownership, that's not true. Because um, the sec when you ask that second question and the property fence uh, section is within your property lines, which is usually the gate section separating your front yard from your backyard, that section is 100% inside your property line. So, of course, you own 100% of that section. So those gates um, and the side fences, you would own all of that. Um, and if you back up to or you're a corner lot and you back your side neighbor is, is nobody, you own 100% of that section because you don't have a neighbor to share that cost with. Um, if you think you have a, a unique situation or have any follow-up questions, you can always uh, email us at vlog at birdie.com, and we'd uh, love to help you out with any questions you may have. Um, but goodbye for now.